All right, welcome back to another video. We have a cooking video for you guys today. If you guys don't know, there's a new TV show on HBO Max called Selena plus Chef. It's obviously Selena Gomez and a chef. She's trying to cook. And they cooked a ramen on one of them and it looked really good. So we decided to try it out. We bought the ingredients. And yeah, so let's go over to the chef. All right, so like he said, it's on HBO Max. If you haven't seen it already, you should go check it out because it, I think it's hilarious. But anyways, I already laid out all of our fresh ingredients over here, or cold ingredients, and our not cold ingredients right there. So I pre, or I didn't preheat it. I already turned the oven on, or the stove on, because our stove takes forever to turn on and like heat up, but it's hot already. And we have our cutting board here because we will need it. So, let's get into it. All right, so the chef on the show says to eyeball it, don't measure it. We're gonna see how that goes. So, we need two tablespoons of this. So now that we have it in there, we're gonna let that kind of warm up to the pan since it's been on the burner. And while we do that, we're gonna cut up our shiitake mushrooms. So I don't mind mushrooms. I don't not like them, but I don't love them. But these ones give me weird vibes they smell weird all right we have we just put our oil on the burner and we cut up some mushrooms into long pieces so now we're gonna throw them in our pot it didn't make that sizzle like i wanted it to all right so it's not wrong without the egg so we're gonna boil two eggs right now all right so we have our miso paste i'm gonna add one more spoonful for good measure All right, so we just added the miso paste, so we're going to add this tahini, half a cup as well. All right, so we got our half cup of tahini as well, and we took it off of the burner because the mushrooms are burning, <laughs> and they're not supposed to. All right, so now we're adding eight cups of water. Our eggs are about to boil as well. So there's two, four, six, And this is perfect timing because our eggs are about to be done. So we need to take them off the burner, cover them, and let them sit. All right, so while we're waiting for that to simmer, we need to also use two tablespoons of sriracha. Taste test time. You don't like it? It's not even hot at all. I really don't like how it's grainy. like a Subway sandwich. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Just it's like Subway. Like the bread or something. All right, so our water is boiling. So now we're gonna add our noodles. We're gonna have to do a few rounds of this because the pot isn't the biggest. All right, so our noodles just got done. So we're gonna put our noodles in the strainer. And then we're gonna rinse with cold water. All right, so this is the first batch of noodles, so we still have one more batch to go. So we rinse the noodles with cold water. Now I'm gonna place them in the bowl um, and then do the same thing with the second batch. So we plated the noodles in the bowls already. So now we're gonna add some broth. So now we cut our egg. It's almost perfect. <laughs> and now yours. I'm trying to put mine in there. That's fine. <laughs> Where'd my yolk? <laughs> no, just leave it, it's fine. All right, and now we are going to have some spinach. So we're adding spinach. All right, so moving on to the sesame seeds. I don't know if I like sesame seeds, but we'll go with that much. Do you like sesame seeds? Is that good? Mm -hmm. And then the best part. Tokarashi. Moon is hot. Seriously? Stop. All right, so. It is done. We have them here. We have our, we don't have um, chopsticks, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But either way though, let's try it. Well, we're gonna, we'll put a picture here just so you guys can see what it looks like with it all put together. And we'll show you um, Selena and 
the chefs as well. Yeah. Oh, and we, we don't have avocado. We're supposed to have avocado apparently. Yeah, I don't like that it's grainy. Yeah. And these noodles got really big. It reminds me of like hummus, kind of, the graininess and stuff. It's not bad. Just the broth by itself, we were having, we were doubting it, but with the noodles, it's not as bad as it tasted by itself. It's missing something though. I think it needs a little more spice. I don't think so. Really? I mean, it can, but I think flavor-wise, it's missing something. Maybe the avocado was the... There's something missing, like... Deal breaker for that. I don't know what it is. It's not bad, though. It doesn't beat our restaurant we go to, though. Mm-mm. I would so much rather have that. You should not have brought that up. Mm -hmm. Now I'm really disappointed. This really isn't that bad. We're also not the best cooks, though. Yeah. So there's a chance that we just didn't do it exactly how. Yeah, but so. I don't think it's that. I think it's the tahini. I don't think it was mixed all the way. Let me eat this egg. Did you try it with the mushroom? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try it with the egg because I'm not a big fan of eggs. And normally when we get the ramen, I don't eat the egg with it. So let's just give it a test with the noodles. I, like, this is still good. Yeah. And I'm gonna finish this. I can't do it with the egg. It's just so overpowering. It's all you taste is egg. <laughs> you have it on your mustache. What? <laughs> Egg? No, the juice. Uh. And yeah, I just don't like eggs like that. I'm gonna try with the mushroom now. Mm. Mm. You really like it? The mushroom mm. makes it for you. I feel like there could be a little more spice. There's something missing flavor wise. Did you try with the mushroom? It gives mm. it more flavor. Yeah, there's still something missing though, because I don't love mushrooms like that. Mm. But still good overall. Mm -hmm. I really don't like the thickness of the noodles. Oh yeah, no. Bugs eh, me. It's all right. Bugs me. I wish they were thinner, yeah. I couldn't find them at the store though, so I just got a type of ramen noodle. And I don't know if you guys have heard, or no, you guys had to have heard, but the fires in California mm -hmm. are insane. Um, where we are... We're like in the middle of two fires. Well, our air quality has been unhealthy very unhealthy. For how long has this been going on? Like a week. For like a week straight. Every day it's unhealthy. So when you check, you know, there's obviously like, there's like moderate, there's like unhealthy for sensitive people, and then there's us. So as you can see, the air quality right here, it's really unhealthy, mm -hmm. and it's bad, so. But yeah, it's crazy. The, uh, you go out there, it's like smoky, ashy. Well, like, probably four days by now. You walked out. You couldn't smell anything. You couldn't really see see anything. It looked like a normal day. And then the next day, it was insane. Like, it hit you right when you walked out. Like, you could smell the smoke and you could see the fire. Or not the fire, but the smoke. Mm -hmm. And, like, looking out this window, you could see the smoke over the building. I mean, it's just like... It looks like a rainy day outside. It could be a sunny day right now. Yeah. But it's not because of the smoke. I haven't been following it too much as far as what's been destroyed, if anything has, or, like people's lost their lives or something. I'm, I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. people have, but mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. It's crazy, this happens every single year. <laughs> At the same time too. In California, it like happens every single time. And it's just getting worse and worse, I feel like. Yeah. I mean, last year was really bad. So I don't know if this year's so far been worse than last year, because last year was really, really bad. Well, he was telling me too that somebody intentionally started Well, that's the, the thing is, yeah, the one in Big Sur. They, they caught the guy apparently, and yeah, I just don't get why people would do that. That's Maybe because you're by the water, but still you shouldn't be setting fires. Just for the heck of it. No, but he set it on fire intentionally to mess things up. 
he wasn't just setting it on fire just because he's next to the water and like, <laughs> no. My thing is though, people just don't think or use their head. Like, why would you even do that? Like, that's crazy to me. Especially it has the potential to kill people. And I mean, all the water we have to use for it. I don't know, it's crazy. It's literally insane. The last time we've seen the containment for this one was 5%. I, I think it's still 5%. Yeah, it's bad. And we, and we don't have to evacuate, mm -hmm. but we are on the- We're like- We are closer to the edge. We're like four miles away from it. So yeah, I don't know. So we're most likely fine, which is good, but hopefully everyone else is. If it does come this way though, it would suck because on our corner, literally on every single corner, there's a gas station. There's a four gas stations on every single corner. I don't think it'd reach here. But if it's still 5% contained and it's been like three days, then... Well, the, it, where the where it's been... That's bad. The border hasn't passed that border in like two days. Oh, and I've been forgetting to tell you guys in our previous videos, my cousin had her baby like two weeks early, two and a half weeks early, I think. She was supposed to have him this week on the 28th, but he came on the 4th of August, August 4th. Yeah, and if you guys don't know what we're talking about, in one of our videos, she sent a letter. A thank you card. A, a thank you card, basically, because um, we got stuff, obviously, for the baby, baby mm -hmm. registry or whatever. So we ordered some items off of my cousin's baby registry, and we sent them to her, and she got them. So she sent us a thank you card. So let's see what it says. All right, so it says thank you. So if you guys don't know what we're talking about, that's what we're talking about. If you've seen that video, we're referring to that. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. He's really cute, but he's so tiny. Well, he was just born. <laughs> I expect him to be tiny. And a little early too. But anyways, that's gonna be it for the video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you'd like to make this, feel free. Come back and let us know what you guys think about it. Mm -hmm. um, what would you give it, like out of 10? A seven. It's missing something for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning on 6.57. It's not the worst, but it's not the greatest. Yeah, but it's definitely edible. Like, yeah. I could eat this again. Would I s want to make it again? Probably not, but I don't know. If someone had maybe it or whatever. Maybe with their own twist. Yeah, maybe with their own twist or if someone else had it and they made it, I wouldn't be opposed to eating it again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not the best, but it's not bad. But anyways, don't forget to leave without giving this video a big thumbs up. We really appreciate that. It helps us a lot, as you probably know. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoy our content, please subscribe. Even if you don't. Just kidding. <laughs> But um, yeah, anyways though, my name is Matt. My name is Nicole. This is Baby Oakley sleeping. And that, that was, was a piece of us. us.